Thank you very much, Tsunami, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand finals here at the Bali Major. Gaming Gladiators against Team Liquid. Once again, I Once mean, again. Bogged, we're here, the same two teams. <laughs> I mean, overall, coming into this one, is there a chance we see something different? Or from what we've had so far from these two squads, Gaming Gladiators coming in as the favorites? Yeah. Absolutely coming in as favorites. I mean, they have a year record since last TI, not counting TI. Of course, it's 18 to 9 in game score. And overall, most of those series, of course, have gone in favor of Gaming Gladiators. I do think both teams, they kind of got what they wanted, but I think Gaming, they got more what they want. I think okay. this looks like a very strong group up draft. But Nisha, he's been, I mean, on his Ember Spirit, of course, he's been incredible. And looking forward to see how this one's going to go down because Brood has also been pretty annoying. He's just really yes. disrupting a lot of carries inside of these games. And yeah, we'll see. Which one? The backup of the Lich. Pano mentioned it. Uh, this, you know, I think Lich and Rubik are the two that I do really like to see in response to techies because you've got that instant disable. Catch him off the blast off. So should be able to secure some really solid farm. So maybe that's the situation where Mikke is actually able to slide ahead. But yeah, we're going to have some fun. These two teams, they've played each other so many times this year. In if the fights start to go the way of gaming gladiators, they can easily combo it into further. Very hard for the liquid to escape from a bad engagement. Yeah, and maybe this Kick off. maybe this top lane isn't gonna be as ex easy as expected for Mickey, because he does have a Lich who's a very, very strong hero, but Techies really is just that threatening. And I do see that Insania, he actually took the frost shield immediately at level two. Bottom boxy! He's gone! It's gonna be first blood for Duraccio down here. Good catch from Celery with the kinetic field, and there's enough time for the two of them to right-click him out of the game. Duraccio Terrorblade to a start at all, and you're just dying a bunch of times and it takes you some time to cover. This is this doesn't feel like it's gonna be that for Ace at all this game. None of those are always really early. Oh. Insania making the move. Let's see if they can get the, the kill onto Duraccio. They can. They get the flame break knocked back into the Firefly. Okay. And, uh, they'll be able to almost gotta come up. They're bringing two supports. Yeah, they they have to. They've got to they've got to bail Mickey out Mickey out of this situation. He's not been having a, a fun time at all. And they'll turn towards Ace Ace. He's never get the three-man vacuum up, but he will die. But Mickey. And they get Mickey. Nice pull. He's gonna have glimpse in a second celery. Ah, he's got him with a glimpse, they that should him. do it. So they'll lose lives themselves here, Gaming Gladiators. Two go down. They get the chain. They'll lose the third as Nisha swings across chains to cancel the TP of Celery. Oops. They get the three of them. So Liquid as a whole will be happy. Mikke, maybe not so much, as he's dead yet again. Oh man, they have to commit a lot. Ace doesn't actually have the mech just yet, so maybe they try for him. They'll go for the support first. Yeah. Try and get rid of Celery before we can get the static storm off. He'll still uh -oh. get it down, though. Celery able to easily nice pop the static storm. They get the vacuum as well. They caught the two of them in, and Nisha, oh. he's out. They'll get insane here as well. They try and go in Celery, but it's they, deep. they couldn't catch him for long enough. The lasso didn't last and to, to a point where he was anywhere close to dying. I mean, that was... He very easily got the ult off. On. Uh, that's pretty horrific. Yeah, Nisha will be having nightmares about that one. Chain Frost. Trying to put Doracio away here. Oh, really bounced too successfully, though. They're oh, boarding in on the spiders. This. See if uh, Nisha can get any sort of clean up kills. The wall's going to be dropped down in the midst of it. They're looking at Doracio. Doracio just took the man to and Sunder. He puts the play for you. Doracio get a target. He turns towards Nisha. Takes Nisha's health. Zai fighting almost with a BKB. Dracho still. Terrible. They're pulling him out with the fear. Dracho's getting busted. Still alive. He's living. Dracho, he's gonna live. The team, they're able to bail him out. Dracho splits out of the side of the fight. They've lost Boxy here on the side of Liquid. They find Dracho again in the tree. He's still fine. If, maybe with the second round of Blade Fury, okay, they can not. finish it. They can. They'll finally be able to take Dracho down. Zai life stealing up on towards Quinn. They get the static storm down. It's gonna trap. In fact, the three of them. What a storm. Out. Quinn, he's able to take down Zai and Nisha. They will pull back in that Shakram. And Celery helps to turn the the fight in favor of gaming gladiators they get the glimpse back onto mickey play fury back up i think for the third time this fight will allow mickey to escape Quinn wants blood uh, he's chasing he's surged up he's running down the joke the healing was going to be there from mickey mickey he's got to consider how he's going to play his way out of this one frost shields thrown down onto him kinetic field again celery more control as they set up to take out the lich and mickey's kind of standing in but, uh, yeah this rush is going down far too quickly so liquid Good finding call. a nice little opening yeah very nice call the question is if Game Gladiators want to still take the fight despite Liquid having the Aegis, which they may do so. If they see people split up, Nisha shows top, but he has a remnant bottom. To start things with Duracho, they're losing. Never the worst one by any means. I mean, it's definitely going to make Quinn and that yep. little bit harder to catch and kill. They got the Hex, Mickey. They, they got the opening half, they got the burst, they got the vacuum back of the wall, but still Mickey's able to put the blade for you, step back the right. Oh my the god. The terror blade nearly bring him down, but the healing wall's there as well as the frost shield. Mickey will live. He's kind of lucky to get out. Glimpse. They want to go back in on this. They smoke up here, Liquid. And maybe seeing if they can get some sort of way back into the fight. Zai has to put the BKB there rather early. Yeah, to avoid Glimpse. getting caught. Limbs caught him. That was a glyph. That that's not the tier two glyph. Just an FYI. That's the that's the tier three glyph that they didn't end up using trying to hold this tier two here. I see if Game Gladiators can push for more. Then he loses now to Nisha. We'll be able to get the glyph back into the hex. Ooh. Got the remnant. 
Nikkei can do anything here. No, he's having to, to run. I mean, he has got Omni Slash. They're, they're still kind of hovering in a way that they want to get back in because Voxy has the lasso. Here comes the Omni Slash. It's going to do decent bounces. Oh, Duraccio! Duraccio! Oh, oh my goodness, is he going to get away with that? He he's going, going down! Story. What? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he really wanted to save him, I guess. He really wanted to save Celery. Uh, uh, I mean, and fair, you know, Celery's been having a great game. It's all being seen by getting that is the vacuum. Jump, 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 the vacuum onto the three in the middle of the wall. BKB is out. They'll try and jump over towards Tobu, but Tobu's able to get back to safety. Immediate buyback comes in from Boxy. Nisha steps in with the BKB, but has to back away from being close towards Duraccio. Duraccio with the Metamorphosis, punching hard back at the two of them. The Chain Frost gets thrown out, but Quinn Timber chains in, takes down Insania. Liquid's got to run, and this is going to be around Roche soon. Nisha, he's hard to see him. Freeze, but indeed, they've found him. He's out of remnants. He's got nowhere else to jump. He's going to try for the slight TP. It was a good effort, <laughs> but not enough units for him to continue to be sliding around to buy time for that TP to go off as Nisha he'll die he's out for 70 and that's the Roche it's gonna be up in 15 seconds gaming hit perfectly there I mean they they, catch they, they with a three-man vacuum all just under the ward right yeah. oh, liquid they're up on the cliff they they just didn't check for it it had full vision of them gaming gladiators they knew exactly what back and forth we go an opening there from liquid from before and gaming saying no 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 we got our ults now in this fight they get the big connection and yeah. besides just getting a Roche now Celery, He's Aghanim is about to be done. The Wombo combo gets scarier and scarier. Get that Philosopher's Stone back in. You know? uh, extra little bit of gold. He wants the right click damage for the Roche. Yeah, he wants to. The right click? What are you about? Because Philly removed your damage. Oh, yeah, because. Oh, yeah. Dummy. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a time. That's not gonna do that. <laughs> no. Liquid, they're looking to strike, I guess, because everything's on cooldown. I wants to go. Static Storm's up. He's gonna go straight for Celery. Hey, there's the Ogre Seal target for Celery. Jumps off the side into the lasso. They get rid of the disruptor without disruptor being able to get his ultimate off. Dracho, he's taking a pretty much a full Omni Slash between himself and the Illusions. Getting pretty low hit. Three man vacuum into the wall. Dracho attempting to heal up with the Satanic. And towards Mickey, Mickey popping the BKB, he's moved in on towards Ace, they're taking out the Darks here. Double buybacks coming out for Gaming Gladiators to support. They're on Celery again. He's untouchable, they can't kill Quinn. Celery, this time, able to get the Static Storm off. Nisha with the BKB, another slider fist, he's cut down Ace, and he's cut down after a second time. The Duracho Quinn still standing strong, in with the slashes. Duracho, he's got Big bomb. the second. They still haven't been able to take the to Terror Blade down the once, they will. How is he alive? He's healing up, he's healing up, now he's gone. But he's going to be back for a second life, and he does still have Satanic good to pop. Quinn. Quinn's got five heroes. And Quinn's got to come back in and help out. He's looking back over towards Indracho. He's caught by the fear. Is he able to survive against the four of them? He popped better. better. But he's gone. They've got the damage. Quinn, he tries to bail out of here with the TP, and he'll manage to escape. But he's allowed for that. Well, here we go. Oh, and we get a, I think, is that, is that a what, 34? Is that a Roche what is this? time the seller is offering up for the what team? I don't even know what that time. Maybe he's a fake timer, because I don't think that is the Roche timer. I don't even know, actually. Okay, and as soon as we... No, it is. Insania just dies to the Tormentor. All, all right, right. well... <laughs> wait, who caused that? That was Zaya, I think, was it? Well, I guess the rest of the team, they just all started hitting it, and Insania dies. Um... <laughs> Nisha could be in trouble. Positioning is going to be crucial for Celery. Look where he has to stand, because he doesn't have a Blink Dagger. He has to be, like, right behind Quinn for the catch. It was Zai, they've been able to put the Lincoln's Quinn. He's in with the Shiva's Guard and the Hex. The fourth Force Zai out of the side. Boxy pops the beacon. He's going to try and go over to Wolf Dratcher. Now they look at the back line. Jump for Fenicia. He's been able to find Celery straight over towards the Disrupt. He's got the chains, but Celery's able to get the Glimmer Cape off. Omni Slash is there over towards Ace, but Ace is still alive. Celery's able to get the Static Storm down. They've managed Storm's to on two. Down. Nisha, he's also caught in the edge of it as well. Dratcher still fighting fit. The Hex is down on Anisha. He's dead. Three gone on Liquid. It too long. They took way too long to get Celery. They, they, you know, Nisha sort of went all in on it, but I think sort of around the Glimmer Cape and such, they, they just didn't have the detection to finish him off in time. He gets the ult out, and that Static Storm, it secures them the two big ones in particular. Mickey and Nisha gone. And as I mentioned before that fight, Nisha, he spent he up. Spent he spent his does gold. does not have buyback. Duraccio and the rest of the remaining survivors on Gaming Gladiators, they can go straight for the high ground push. I mean, they're pushing mid and they're pushing bottom. Liquid has to buy back at least on the Lich. They probably are going to have to buy back even on Mickey unless they just want to sacrifice two sets here. I mean, there's Insania's buyback. And of course, throughout this all, Insania never spent his money. He didn't. He was, sort of, he was sitting about sort of three and a half thousand, and now he's gone back down to 2.7k. Never Die. spent anything. They got him with a hex again. I mean, Insania's trying to force him back to the base, but they catch him. They've killed the two of them. Neither of them were buyback available as well. This is going to be a huge opening for Gaming Gladiators to take at least one set of racks, probably two, maybe even start to threaten the game as well. What a fight from Gaming. Only one hero was able to get to the back lines to try to go oh, for Celery, and it, just, it wasn't enough. And no. Look how much... They might actually just lose everything here. They might. They're Mick is trying to hold his buyback. Yeah, I mean, as you can see with the money, Zai, he's 170 gold short of oh, his buyback. Boy. I mean, this is of course, just, just brought back. 
The tier four's exposed. They've got this little bit of time in the glyph. Oh, Duracho wants to end. He buys a full refresher. He wants his meta back up. He wants to get the push. He wants to at least get the megas. At least megas. Because I, I don't think they'll be able to quite end unless they can kill these heroes off again because we're going to see both Mickey and Nisha back in action so that they'll be able to fight with the three of them it's still going to be a three versus five so it won't be easy but there's a little chance that Liquid may be able to push back Gaming Gladiators once it's, more it's mega style already it's a lot and he, okay, he doesn't even have to use his meta 15 they're seconds play it up. Cool. He has a they'll, they'll back off Gaming I mean, Gladiators they got all they needed Jesus Quinn and we're actually going to see I guess with regards to the fact that Nisha doesn't have buyback, Mickey's like, oh, I'll just go all in as well. He has to. So he, he spends up, he yep. buys the MKB, uh, They're... foregoing his availability to buy back in the next fight as he's now completely out of money. I mean, he has to. They have, they're, they have, they have, they have Megas coming in, you have to go all in. Who are we giving the Ags to here on uh, Just give it to Duraccio. Why not? Yep. He's got the double terror wave, right? He used meta for the fight, so I, it's a really, really strong one once you do get this timing. Let's see what they can make of this. So the creeps are building up. And Mickey knows he can't show. He has to stay under ninja gear. Because they could just jump him and full kill him. Link now picked up her celery. Yep. Oh him, him and Ace. Him and Ace can end it. If they get the, the correct jump. And Ace is going to start things. He's able to get in there. Get the opening hex on Anisha. Anisha needs help. They've got any way to bail him out. This thing. Nope. No. The tarot wave. He's gone. Boxy will come in with the BKB lasso on the celery. They desperately want to kill this disruptor. They've got the full up hex this time. But will manage to stop the axe static storm. But there's the buyback. Celery's going to look to rejoin the team. Nisha, he'll buy back as well. They're trying to stand their ground against Duracha. Duracha getting pretty low. He's able to sunder Ace. Gets his health back up to pretty much full. Turns to take down Zai. Zai's out without buyback. From the fourth for Nisha. He'll attempt to burst Duracha Duracha base. Standing the, ground. He's back up to full HP. Nisha cannot kill off the Darks here. Mickey's got a Blade Fury back to base. Anisha, he'll have what to run waste as well. Mickey, he's going to get dragged back underneath Duracho. He's out. No buyback on him. Hex on Tanisha. Gaming Gladiators with the full cleanup as the Ag Static Storm locks down the Ember. GG is called. Gaming Gladiators will take this game one. They just keep on doing it, Owen. How do they just keep on doing it? This one, Liquid, what, 12k lead? It seemed like they had a chance. One fight is all it takes. This Disruptor, he just gets Static Storm off there. You don't finish him off 100 to 0. And that was actually devastating because they lost... Yeah, eventually Liquid's gonna run out of damage and they can't really deal with the terror bit. But before before minute 20, they'll have like a, a really good opportunity to run over the map if they get good lanes. It's the runes with the primal beast, set up kills, and the ledge is gonna snowball. That's what uh, they are gonna hope to happen in the game. So does Carry Lush ever leave his lane, or is he just gonna try to? Yeah, you do it? the same build as you do as a as a mid. Like you're just straight up rushing the bloodstone. It's only possible, Dio. Like you can't do this here otherwise because you have health issues without the bottle. So does that leave us at a standoff where Timber and Lush are just staring at each other in the side? Uh, once t once Lush gets six, he can actually bully you out, uh, get rid of the Timber outside of the lane. But if it really comes out to who hits six first in that lane. Okay. Let's get ready for game number two of this grand finals, everybody. It's time for Odie, Pixel, and Fogged. I'm actually Quit here. Quit and game in Gladiators. Fog, this time round, we're, we're getting sort of the adaptation from Liquid by looks of it during the draft to take this Lesh to the safe lane. At least have Mickey cool. uh, play it this time round. Tofu might actually just die here. I just get blood grenaded. Whoopsie. And indeed, he uh, stuck around a little too long to throw that. Oh. oh, my way. What? What? The stick charges? The high five? Nah, they still <laughs> got him. First blood. Go the way of Mickey. That was almost like, a, oh no, we didn't go for him. They're actually going to get the Observer Ward too. Okay. Stick now. Nisha and Boxy waiting on the high ground. Gonna be able to catch Celery. Stepping back over towards the top lane. Lift up with the Telekinesis. It's another kill for Liquid. Time down bottom. Ace and Quinn. They're attempting to go for Mickey. And Mickey is able to sidestep the Rolling Thunder. And now. He may turn. Yeah, they, they've got to be careful. Mickey's getting fueled up by Insania. Looks like he won't have enough damage to threaten them, but at the least it's just wasted time for Quinn as he's not able to pressure Mickey in the way that he hoped for, turning up towards the bottom. Very ideal start here for Liquid, exactly how they want this to kind of be going here. Zai, Arcane Boots are finished, so he can keep Boxy on the map. Boxy. 
again. So that's exactly what they're kind of trying to do here. But here comes that reload. Yep. See if they can get him this time around. Vacuum, but Quinn, he's there with a backup, and the multiple TPs are coming in. Liquid, not able to find the clean initiation that they hope for to, to start this off. Dracha will get caught by Big charge. Nisha. Able to finish him before there's any chance of a Sunder to come off. He'll turn with the Pulverize as well. On towards Ace. Ace able to get the Timber Chain off to cut down Zai. Mickey, he's trying to finish off Quinn and Ace, but he cannot do so. As Liquid, they'll lose two for their attempt to take down Duraccio. Yes, he wasn't able to get the tether off there. It got broken somehow because he did just end up ditching the two cores. Get them one, and now Nisha is actually going to get the cleanup. All right, I mean, that, well worth it. It does, and maybe we can look for more with Insania coming back across. He's got the control on to Ace. Ace, he's got back up though. There's the respawns are coming in. Duracho is ready to rejoin the fight. Tofu, he hit six. The hex on towards Nisha. The stun as well. The burst from the finger. Tofu able to take Nisha down. He just got six, I think, off like a creep or oh, something. Foxy. But Foxy. <laughs> yeah, he's able to finish off Ace there with that final bit of burst. He, he tries to have a cute little TP out. He won't succeed as he does die. I have heroes ready to back him up. They, they saw him though under the ward. They see where he's going. You're right. She's splitting once more from the team. Foxy's not going to be able to get over in time to help in the caddy for the hex. The burst of the finger. Nisha. Is gone. Oh, they might get Boxy too. He shows himself. He's got another timber chain. And he's down to the low ground. Swash buckles off the mark with the Shakrams there. Gaming gladiators. They'll take both of them. Two huge kills. They actually played beautifully around their vision there. Dancing. They knew Nisha used BKB for that support kill top, and that is Tofu's blink dagger. Now. I see if they can push this. The glyph is on cooldown, so it looks that's the looks like that's the call. This could be the the make or break here. Meta is back available. And they get the ranks, or are they going to get punished? Nisha, like tofu. quick jump. Tofu's out. Doesn't have to use BKB for that at all, too. So the tower is likely to fall. See how much they can keep going for. Tier 3. Got One more tap will take it. And it's gone. See if they can get the ranks, Liquid. Can they keep this push up? We want to persist for it. Scotty's still not finished for Duraccio, but 800 away. This is good pressure. This is good pressure. Fortification, Quint. Does have Arcane and Rolling Thunder if he wants to start trying to slow them down. Tofu's going to be back in 10. Yeah, his finger's back up as he respawns as well, too. Really want to get away with this liquid. It's pretty important for, for the time things that their lineup needs to hit. Five seconds on Edict. Back up now. Short five seconds. That's the range racked. Maybe they... I think that maybe they're going to back up with that one played careful. It's a bit difficult now that the full team's back in play from Game of Gladiators. That they're doing their best to stick around. Now they'll start to fall back a bit, especially with the TP coming in from oh, Duraccio. He gave roll. Oh, he did. He didn't cover it at all. At Duraccio, he's got his his uh, Scotty timing, but giving up roll. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a misplay there from Quinn. I mean, he did have the Arcane as well, so could have very easily expended a shield crash. But uh, yeah, the, the opening's there. Boxy, he could do something nice with this. They're going to get the jump. They're going to try their best to burst through the less route. But Mickey, he's only going to go down to half HP. He's finding out. Boxy in with the stolen roll. Crashes across both Quinn and Tofu. They're making the space here to allow them to apply some further pressure to the melee rack. Oh, Boxy, he bounced up the wall. Oh, and he's going to die for that one. Okay, they cannot finish. I mean, that's a Shiva show. They're gonna look to maybe set up and fight around here. Mickey, he's actually still in the area. It's kind of spooky when there's this meta available on Duraccio and he'll pop it. They'll start okay. beating into Mickey. Ace pushing forward on the front lines. They'll get the vacuum wall dragged back onto the two. They're on top of the lash. Rolling Thunder coming in from Quinn. They've got the stun control on towards him, but the BKB's out for Nisha. Nisha able to grab Quinn, of course, out of the Rolling Thunder, but they've lost their eye out. See if they can burst through another. They can. The finger's there. It's going to be two of them dead as Gaming Gladiators will chase on for more. They surround Mickey. The Chakram's out from Ace. Mickey's healing up. Sunder. It's not going to be enough. They catch him with the stun. Mickey's taken down. Liquid lose three. Maybe even more. They get the Scardy connection on towards Sai. Chakram as well from Ace Sai. He's going to be out with the surge. So the illusions will chase him. Ace, He's great angle it. with the timber chain. He's going to have another Chakram to throw forward in a second as well. Zai. He's got one more surge to go. I mean, Zai, if Ace can again get these big angles, this Ooh. time Tree's going to trip him up. Won't quite be able to close the gap. So Zai will live, but it's, it's four the dead. Done, Quinn was able to find oh. Boxy. Is Zai able to get out? Actually... Oh. Oh. I mean, the... oh. Ace, he's oh. actually going to oh, get gets... him. <laughs> I mean, it looked like he was going to get out for sure, Zai, but Ace says no, and Gaming Gladiators, they end up getting Rax. You're going to have to cause some kind of weird place to happen here. Oh, Ace, Nisha. he's trying to disengage. They might lose Tofu for this. She's got to be a bit careful. This BKB is still on cooldown for he's got 12 back. seconds. He should be okay. They should just lose one support on gaming. See, Tofu. He won't be able to turn with the stun. Oh, the grab ally. <laughs> the tombstone. <laughs> Make him work for it a little harder. And, uh, four heroes there. Empty. Yeah. They will find Tofu. It's something, Ooh. but it's still... It, it's Full commits onto him. Just deletes Insania. Yeah, Ace in that last fight was pretty uh, pretty dead. Ooh, they actually do find Duraccio up here. Oh, this could be the catch. Good game. Rose. Done. I think maybe you push for that rush hard here. It's still not super quick, though. It's right? not. 
I mean, or you, you, it's either you push for the rocks. I think you push for a rax. And you want to get this melee rax. You got to get this rax out of the game, so at least you have one lane that's pushing in consistently. Otherwise, okay. it's just gonna feel rough for Liquid. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if they can get it. It's 30 seconds until Duraccio's back up. Meta will be long. up too. Yeah. That's yeah, not that long, and it's back up to full HP. I mean, if Ace turns up for the defense, Ooh. could could be able to push them back. What can he fight Quinn? Oh, he does. They get the reload. They're gonna go for this kill instead. Quinn, he's out with the swashbuckle, he's got the shard, and he's got the into the Rolling Thunder. He actually gets he's out. He's actually able to get away from this whole attempt, and of course with that move they made over towards there, it slows down the efforts to try and take the Rax top. And Quinn, here comes Quinn. He's going to continue the roll over towards the supports and get back up to the high ground with the swashbuckle. Boxy tries to grab him outside the base, and with the jump four from Nisha, maybe they can still grab get into the tombstone. Is he going to have any escape spawning. after this? I think Quinn's going to be fine. Liquid, they've got to start backing up. It's getting a bit awkward now. Insane against Burst low. Mech will be popped. And deep with the five of them back in action. Gaming Gladiators, they'll take this fight outside of the base and chase Liquid away. They get the illusion out into Boxy. Boxy's going to go for the TP. Anything to stop it there is the damage. just a straight up burst and, and the control from the Hex. To actually go up there and fight her. This game is even harder than it was before. It looks like a good catch from Nisha, but he actually has to use the ult in order to catch Quinn at the start, right? So then Quinn just has freedom to reset and roll away. He's out. That's Roche, it's gonna be all theirs. All theirs. They even pop. Oh, I can't. <laughs> they really wanted it. They popped the meta even from Duraccio for it. Quinn, now he's got an Aegis. He's got right. extra coverage. I think they're cool, you know, that, with the fact that, uh, you know, they could pop meta like that. They, they could just chill. They could wait this two minutes. They don't have to force things. Yep. They know that this game, it's only going to get harder for Liquid. Let's see if Liquid does anything. I think they just pinged out Duraccio. So they're probably saying, hey, he just used meta. Let's try to maybe take a fight after that ends. Nisha shows himself on the wave. We'll be careful with the fact that the illusion's coming in. But there's likely heroes behind him. They might get the jump round over towards Mikke. Insania. Send out the illusions first. Toby's in with the jump. Insania. The Hex. Insania's going to look to try and take them out, but the sun's going to catch him. And now Quinn in with the rolling thunder. BKB's out from Mikke. He's going to turn straight back towards Selim. Duraccio. Duraccio pops the BKB in with the meta. He's focusing towards Nisha. Nisha, his BKB comes to an end. The ball gets Insania. knocked down. Insania tenders across, but he's gone. They'll lose Insania. Quinn dying to the damage of Mikke. Finally falls, but he's got that Aegis. He's going to be back for round two. Mikke, Buyback from, from Insania. He's able to get back over, the dead. over towards Mikke. Now, I mean, maybe they can find more causes. Quinn, he's getting chased down by Insania and Mikke. Swashbuckle's going to be back up in a few seconds, and he does have the safety at the roller, but Boxy, he's in with the telekinesis, grabs him, slams him down. Liquid, they'll be able to hold here against the efforts of Gaming Gladiators as they take out both Duraccio and this... Let's see how much they can get done this, this time. Last time, it was just a tier three and a range racks up top. See if they can get anything beyond that. They've got Edict up this time. Melee racks likely to fall. And seconds till that respawn, but there is going to be no matter for the fight. This is big for Liquid. Successfully able to take these objectives. Can they push for more? Can they swing up towards the top? I mean, with the respawns coming in, it looks like they won't want to risk it. They try and jump forward, but in fact, they come back in return. They got the telekinesis back. They've been able to blow up Tofu. Inside. I mean, the Doomstone's going to be there for a little bit of safety for Ace. It's enough as Liquid. They respect the fact that Duracho and Quinn are back up. Ooh. So they get the melee racks, they get a little kill on top of it, and, and they get out. And Zai now has an Agonims, so an extra, daria, extra illusion now versus this Terror Blade. Could be even more answers. A DD rune bottom, not the best for their draft, but some nice momentum, Liquid. Down bottom, Quinn. Ooh, this could, be, this could be a really good catch if they do, Quinn. We react in time, he's going to see them. The grab. Uh, they've been they got the grab to put a stop to that Deleted. rolling thunder, and Quinn completely and utterly smashed into the ground. That's 70 seconds. They can get the push going again. Okay, level 20. Yeah, Zai's so going to be bringing in the creep wave. Mm -hmm. At least another tier two. We're certainly going to look to try and go for more. Yeah, a whole minute. No pango for the defense. The Racho trying to push the mid wave out as far as he can. See Ace probably cutting and maybe pushing toward top a little bit more here. Ace actually committing his gold for a heart, trying to get a little bit tankier to get into the front to protect the Racho. Yeah. So 45 seconds. Liquid pushing the envelope here. Still quite a solid hold they can put together with just the four of them. Foxy! He's getting with the jump, they're trying to burst through this. Tim, they get the wall drop down as well. Drake tries to pop the BKB, turns with the Sunder. Metamorphosis as well, look towards Mickey. But Mickey with the BKB popped, he's still incredibly strong. Ace, looking to be pretty unkillable. Low down pickup. for about two thirds HP, but nothing any further. Another stun throwing away at this Timber Saw. I don't think Ace is going to care too much at all. They'll clip him with a further stun and another stun, but this Timber Saw ain't dying. I had a hard perch, hard perch is definitely worth it there, just for this hold. Mickey, he's a little bit low. I mean, Nisha wants to try and get back in. It's getting risky now. Coming back up, yeah, this is a little risky. Meta, he swaps positioning here. They don't want to go on Ace. They want to go on anything else. Yep. I mean, Dracho, Mickey's got eyes on him. 
This is their turn. B B Major BKB from Dranic. He's not going to play his luck any chance here as he'll turn towards Mickey. Mickey pops the BKB. They get the grab onto Quinn. Dranic Senior. Yeah. Well, it's completely surrounded Zai, but Zai is able to get the wall off and the chain stays there to Dracho. Get the Sunder off. Brings Nisha low. But Dracho has to back away. He might not get the chance as Mickey catches him with a split up. Dracho dying here to the damage of the Lesh. He's out. He's Dracho's not. gone. Immediate buyback from both supports of Liquid. Mickey still pretty high on the HP as Celery is attempting to stand up with him. Tofu, he's got the control on towards Nisha. Nisha's unslaughting away. The ace, another Chakram. Timber chain forward. They're cutting down the escape of Nisha. He'll turn with another pulverize, but they'll bring him down. Triple kill for Ace. Ultra kill for Ace as he finds Boxy. I mean, Ace isn't done. He's still full HP. He's more than ready to keep this going. They'll catch it the IO again with another disarm. Ace focusing his head. He wants the rampage. Won't quite get it. Tether down to the low ground. And Sadia keeps his distance from Ace. Ace continuing to chase. There he gets a rampage. There's the rampage for Ace as Gaming Gladiators. They'll lose Celery, but Ace, he'll be happy with it. With this one, it walks out full HP, and that fight, four buybacks from Liquid had to be used to try and come out even. Mick Ace does stand his ground, but so does Ace. I mean, the Ace. damage, look at the, I mean, damage numbers tell it all. 10,000 on a Lash, 14,000 on a Timber. What spells did he use? Like 40 different spells. Roche, though, looks like it. Might go liquids. They should get it. Spawning. We'll see how crazy he is. Liquid I mean, should get it. They they do need it. As I said, four buybacks uh, from from Liquid to take that fight. Did you see the amount of zombies that were in this fight too? Like they actually the, the, the tombstone lived I think full duration. It actually starts to build up. The wall illusions as well. Duracho was taking an insane amount of damage from them. And she gets the Aegis. Okay. Has to get it because he's for top also. Might be able to finally get this melee racks they were going for about 20 minutes or so ago. And back in now. Duraccio, he has B he has buyback. He's he the only one in the game. The rest are close though. Mm -hmm. At least well, a, a 400, 400 gold off. That's the the next big one. Ooh. Game of Gladius will be looking towards. Good job. He's, they're gonna try and tickle Ace. Oh, I say tickle. They're doing a lot of damage. Oh, the grab Ace. He's getting low. He's getting caught. He grabbed the wrong one. They might actually just kill him. They do. They grabbed Quinn, not Ooh. Ace. Uh, he has no buyback. He, that's a huge kill for them to get. Uh oh. I mean that liquid there. The damage that they must have pumping out for their five heroes this moment. They they killed the what seemingly was the unkillable. Ace, he actually disappeared pretty darn quickly though. I mean, they gave up shock they gave up the chakram, right? They had that extra burst damage also from Boxy and they're swinging to bottom. Oh, they are, they're looking for more here, liquid. They're like the break boss is gone. Go, go, go. Yeah, 250 Bye -bye. gold short of buyback ace. I guess he was really just expecting Saudi to get it onto him, but Quinn jumps in at the same time and he actually gets thrown inside of that inside of that tombstone. See if they can do it with the four of them here, Gaming Gladiators. Can they limit the damage that Liquid's going to be able to do? They're stepping up, they get the Hex, hex. on the Dracho. He's going to get Glimmered. Forced back to Sigma Zai. Drag the, the back of the wall. BKB's coming out. Dracho turns with the Sunder over the ward side. Rolling Thunder's attempt tip, but the Pulp Rise is there. They've grabbed Quinn. Quinn getting slammed in the ground. He had the Shield Crash and the Swashbuckle off under the Tier Force. Quinn will live, but they've lost Tofu, also without buyback. As Liquid, they keep the push going, take this bottom second set of racks by the looks of it. Still healthy too. They still have the cheese on Insania. They still have the Aegis. They can go for that last set. Go for that last Rax. And they're going to charge too. What's the tier fours? The arrow to onslaught across Celery. Celery completely surrounded. He'll get a soul rip and a decay off. Duracho trying to help out the best he can, but Celery's out for 70. He can't stand his ground. He just He's actually getting conjured or um, reflectioned. I think that was Boxy's reflection almost kills Duracho. They're going to get this full set of racks up top as well. Megas. This is going to be the Mega Creeps out against Gaming Gladiators Liquid. They absolutely make the, the difficult call to go for this push whilst their own buybacks were still on cooldown, but impressive. it works out perfectly. Mega creeps out against Gaming Gladiators and still 40 seconds where they won't have the full team alive. A great recognition of them to go for this kill and just push the issue. And know that they could take down Ace like that. Now they're in again, Nisha. Tries to the jump forward. They get the Hex. Quinn, he's a little bit too close to them all. As he gets grabbed again by Nisha with a pulverize. He'll manage to roll up. He's going to live. He is going to live. He has to he just gets bonked away, swashes away. Mickey wants to go again. He's got the Edict Talent. He's going to get the stun onto Ace. He can get the push going. He turns with the Chakram, nullify thrown down the way of Nisha. 20 seconds until they have the full team back, Gaming Gladiators. Meta still down for 50 seconds, though. Tough for them to fight into Liquid at this point here with that down. I mean, Zyka lose a jump again soon. He's got the wall back up in 10 seconds. Ace. There they get the grab on towards Ace. Ace is going to get knocked back by the onslaught. There's the vacuum on the screen. They get the Hex. The stun. The follow ups there. Duracho will be able to get the BKB up, but he can't that run. Duracho out of the game for 85. He has got his buyback available. Ace. He's going to get grabbed. Another in for Nisha. Ace, he's out for good 90 seconds as he's dead again and still was unable to acquire the money for buyback. And they back it up a little bit here as soon as they see the buyback from TB. Reset themselves. Cooldown's about to be back up and they're going to look to go and end this. 
Back to the tier fours, Liquid. 20 seconds on meta. No ace. Tofu. But the stun will manage to blink back. These tier fours, they're getting completely shredded here by Mickey. As both go down, the Ancients are going to be exposed. Gaming Gladiators, they've got to do something soon with the four of them if they want to stop this from happening. they got to just go in. Liquid. Quick disarm and the swashbuckle on towards Nietzsche. Edict's back up. They've got to push back this left somehow. Okay. Still got the cheese available on it. And they get the jump. Duracho, he's caught by the stun. They'll get him into the tombstone. There's a chance here for Duracho. Is it going to be enough? He's trying to get out. Look for a Sunder. He goes forward. He's able to get the Sunder on towards Zai. Zai getting beaten down by the Terra Blade. They kill Zai. Oh, Zai's gone for two minutes. They might just be able to hold this. As Zai's gone, Liquid. For the rest of the four, they want to keep trying to push forward. They'll get the opening hex on a Quinn. The follow-up stun from Mickey. Quinn's glimmered forth back to safety. The creeps, the mega creeps, they're building up here against the Ancient. Quinn, he'll roll up. 25 seconds until Ace is back. The Ancient slowly but surely taking damage. Mickey right. continues to push forward. The Ratio's meta is almost ending here. He can't hold off the creeps. He has buyback. He, he got the refresher done. So two BKBs, two Metamorphosis is ready to go for the defense. Already here comes the first one. Metamorphosis out from Duracha. Okay. Shield just waiting in the wings. The shield rune. This this is one of the tankiest primal beasts you'll ever see. 7,000 effective HP. The vacuum. We're gonna try for the setup here. Nisha puts the BKB there around twice. They're gonna see if they can burst through the simple sword again with the grab all eyes there. Straight into the tombstone. Celery able to come in with the save. Chill. They'll fall back. Trying to get it. Terribly liquid. So that's first BKB from Nisha. They do have fortification available. Game of Gladiators. Soon wearing out. Eight seconds. Careful here. Waiting for the sneak jump. Watch Zai here for this vacuum. Ace, place. Ace just jumps casually into the tombstone. Get the opening stun. Nisha's just gonna fall pretty low. Indeed, they get the combo opening, bringing down. They're the, 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 the dying really. Right, Duraccio. Celery's able to step back. Nisha, he grabs the, the Terra Blade. Terra Blade caught by the follow up Hexblade, but Duraccio manages to BKB. Sundar on towards Zai. And Duraccio's back on the full HP. Pots a refresher. Second round of the Metamorphs is good to go for Nisha. He has the pulverize. That long duration is slammed down quick with Mickey. The, the fingers there. They get through Mickey. He's going to try to buy back, but the Hex is on the Nisha. Nisha's out the ones. They take the Aegis off the, the Primal Beast. They can lift the Dragon for a second round. Duraccio. Zai, he'll get the punch back on towards Duraccio. The Hex as well. They're looking down the Terra Blade. They've they got, got him. It. Duraccio's out of the game. See if they can continue the cleanup here. The stun slide through for Box. The stolen Earthspike spike catching on to the two. And now they can look towards finishing this. Surely the grabs there on towards Timber. They've found Ace. Ace, he's got no way of surviving through this. He's out. He's got buyback. They're going to throw the buybacks into this. But Celery, he bought back, dies back. He's out again. Triple kill for Zai. Nisha pulling them back towards the fountain. The creeps are building up. As it's just two versus five here on the defense for gaming gladiators as Liquid will be able to close this one up. GG is called Liquid take game two. What a game. I mean, what a display really of dominance from them. This one gaming fighting back kind of hard of it, but the buybacks from Liquid, the jumps that they're able to get, the opening they find wow. killing Ace top, that was... Over the past, we've seen Zai. He does loot lanes. Yeah. He very quickly gets online. It's quite possible they just win all three lanes and the game's over at 10 minutes. It's quite possible. But it's like, if that doesn't happen, the game gets quite weird. Yeah, I mean, you win all your lanes 20 minutes, the Medusa has Manta and Butterfly, you just push all the tower. I can see the game just ending at that, at that point, you know, and there's nothing you can do. I would not be happy with my pubs playing this kind of draft, though. <laughs> I would <Or> not. <laughs> do <some more. laughs> I mean, it, uh, the thing is, it's whoever picked first, you know? Of it's course. like if the sniper That's picked first, right. then the Medusa blame, he he blames the Medusa. Med, and the Medusa's like, I'm still playing Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, let's get into a game number three. Odie Pixel and Fogged.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for Hello. game three here between Gaming Gladiators and Team Liquid. We've had two fantastic back and forth games so far. Can't wait to see what goes down in this one. Fogged, we've got the drafts in front of us. Uh -huh. What are you looking forward to see? And what do you reckon is going to be able to take this third game? That's probably the case for him. It also does work decently with even like a last strike for the mid. Mid, Nisha. Oh. Might be dead. All right, click. That'll do it! First well, is, blood for Quinn! That's exactly what happened earlier today. <laughs> it was Nisha killing the sniper with the Lesh. I mean, let's see. I think a lot of people in that right now are probably going to be skeptical of what the sniper's going to do. Boxy's going to go straight for him. He gets the dart packed off, but a few right clicks. Power shot is completely off the mark. Off the mark. Not even close. <laughs> the right, Joe, he's, he's able to walk away. And, and here comes the rift. There's still to be a big careful from the items. Duracho has got to get out into the trees, but D with Quinn being brought across gonna be him gone. That's the other real scary thing that there is on the side of Game of Gladiators, the relocate and the Fiendscape. They can always have the numbers in these fights and Liquid's draft, it's a... Hope you're still hanging around mid. Here's the reload. They wanna try and get in on top of Nisha. The stun into the Hex, Quinn in with the follow-up, but the Shackle shot is there. Nice Shackle. Two of them, Nisha standing his ground, or at least trying to do so, but he can't against this damage from Quinn. He'll fall, Kofu, able to get off another stun. Quinn's still got mana to play with as he'll try and run down Insania. They'll actually take him back out of there. They don't want to waste any further time chasing down the Undying. They got what they came for. They took down Nisha. Power Ruin. Quinn's going to quickly buy his point booster. What's it going to be? 25 whatever movement speed on a sniper. Adusa, who also moves like 300 something movement speed. Everyone is very slow. And right now, Duracho, he's already feeling confident to get a bit aggressive to slow down Mika's farm. He's got, got Tofu. With it. They got the reload. They do. This uh, Medusa, Mika's in a lot of trouble. Quinn comes in. He's actually going to miss the stun. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Just a straight up burst from the finger. Oh, this could be a rough one, Owen. I mean, Duracho wants to go in. Yeah, he, he's looking at them. They've got relocate. They see Insania. He's going to drop the tombstone. They're going to fiends gate over. Bit Boxy and Nisha, they've got to start backing away. Look at this. There's mobile. no saving Insania. And Mikke will TP across. Mikke trying to step up this into this. Tombstone's doing work. And his salary getting Black ready. Hole. Though. They'll drop the black hole onto Quinn, but Tofu's able to put a stop to it with the start. Relocate. And they take Quinn down. They no. can't. They're out of there. Celery's able to take them out. Dretcher, he's still going. He's able to find Boxy. He's going down. We'll die for this. Good kill. They can find Ace. Ace comes Quinn, though. Ace is a hard one to kill. They can't go for Ace. There's going to be a buyback from Boxy. The root's going to be laid down under the two. And then the finger's there on Nisha. Nisha's out. Jackal. Ace. Gotta run. He wants to dive under the tier two. He's looking towards Zai. Zai, we're going to have a round of idle on Zalf and Ace. He'll back away. Just want to keep pushing under the tier two with the buyback coming in from Boxy. Ace taking literally no damage. He has 200 atrophy stack built up on him. That was, uh, that was actually. A a decent attempt with how far behind they are. They didn't quite get the black hole to pull. And they set up for this guy. I mean, he is such a beast. They're gonna try. Boomstone's down. They get it laid down, but the stun's gonna clip onto Insania. As they'll lose Insania, they'll lose Boomstone's the tombstone. Gone. Tofu's getting a little bit low. Zyra's trying to wrap around the back lines to find him. Tofu's gonna get healed up though by Celery. Liquid, they're having to back off once more. Quinn, he's gonna try and chase down Zai. Nisha attempting to stand his ground and shoot back at Celery, but the root's there for Ace. Dracha's wrapped around from behind. He's in with the ultimate on top of the sniper. It's four dead on Liquid. Mikke, the only one left alive. Oh, man, this is so rough to watch. <laughs> it's a tough one. They just walk at them. Ace, what, he loses I mean, 200 HP. They Pops can't, Crimson. Can't, hurt can't touch him. him. No. And not, Duraccio, not he's able to get some stacks up. He's still level one essence shit, but either way, he's able to stand his ground. And now he's even looking for Mikke. Did they relocate up again? They do. They're pinging for it. They Duracho's are. like, let's go. They're absolutely going to go for this. Mikkei is pretty much entirely out of mana. They fiends get over as well. Not a chance here for Mikkei as they take down the Medusa. This is... <laughs> I don't know what Liquid does with their draft with this. What do they do? It's too much The too high much ground movement. defense. That's the high ground black. defense. All right. The, the high man black holes. That's what they're going to gear up for. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's the XP difference, too, that's really hurting. When you look at the levels across the board of everybody. Another catch in Sanya. Tried to get out for a bit of warding. Put an end to his life and to his couriers. All right, well, yeah, this, I mean, this is done and dusted on. <laughs> Even if this deuce and I, like you said, high ground defense with this it's deuce. It's not high ground defense, maybe. She's too far behind. They, could, they can just portal behind her and just completely surround her even. And they get the Raccio here. Got a black hole. And just need to it. drop it. But they're, they're, they're coming in. Gaming he coming in. He got it on something time as well, Duracho. So a little bit of survivability. Celery's in with the heels. Duracho's still alive. He's going to be He's back full. up full HP. He turns, takes down Zai, pounds forward. He gets the catch on towards Mikke. Mikke's able to get away from it at least. As Nisha Hurricane Pikes Mikke out of the pounce. They just have to full run. They can't even kill the Spark. They're going to get the catch on to Nisha. As Nisha, he'll get forced back by Insania, but the Root's there. Ace shutting off the escape from Nisha. Insania's dying to Duracho. It's three dead again, 18 to three. 
I, I wouldn't be too shocked if Liquid calls it relatively soon. There's just nothing. Yeah, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's what I kind of thought. <laughs> there we have it. We've had two close games so far, but this game three, it's uh, completely the opposite. 21 yeah. minute GG Gaming Gladiators. Says they'll take the lead now in this best of five final. Two to one. No more sniper, please. Liquid. No more sniper. <laughs> I mean, the teams keep trying it. It's just not, it's just not working at all. No, I think with... Yeah, but I mean, at this point, like, they're not all eggs in one basket. Like, they are doing a standard Liquid draft. I would have been really... It would have been tragic to see Liquid go out in games, like, if that was the last game, because that yeah. just didn't look like Liquid. It didn't look like the way they've been playing. So or even nothing. if they were to lose this one, I think they're pretty... Ha I think they're pretty happy to go out this way, whether it's good or bad. Like, they, this is exactly what we know from Liquid. Which is leaving us in an interesting position <laughs> as we deal with it. <laughs> Because either we're going to be watching a team of gaming gladiators be making history as the most dominant Dota team to ever win three majors in a row, or we're going to get treated to a five-game grand final if Liquid are able to win. Sounds like a win-win in my book. Let's get into game number four. So unfogged. Thank you very much, Tsunami. Yes, it is time here for game four between Gaming Gladiators and Team Liquid and Fogged. Again, quite a treat with the drafts. We're ending oh, it yeah. here for Liquid with the, the the lone druid. Yeah, let's see how this one ends up working out. Goes greedy. Oh, gonna Foxy. He's going to come down towards the bottom to try for the okay. first bud still. They get the setup on Celery and with the Blade Fury follow up. Should be enough. Nicely done. And indeed it is. First blood for Mikke. And do they get a boar kill as well? No. Don't want to give up boars too much gold good setup maybe they even linger around here boxy might just continue playing there and maybe zai they just kind of sack him this is an this is an old thing liquid used to do zai he might just die up here i mean he's saying he's going to try and tp up to help him, him in time but indeed zai already gone so gaming gladiators is quick to punish the fact that zai was landing on his own and interesting uh lane setups here this time around from gaming gladiators they're actually putting the enchanters bottom with the beastmaster and the putting the lion up top with the Medusa, I probably because the Lion versus that Primal Beast overall, you can kind of just halt any aggression if it does come out. Perhaps is the answer. Tofu, can he catch him? They're pretty try. He is. Okay. He's helping get the opening stun into the hex. The damage for the impetus, the right clicks from Ace is bringing Mikke low. They They've got him. Tofu playing it very nicely from the edge of the vision and I mean, catching him by surprise with the opening stun. Liquid's just looking to play completely around mid lane, but that's definitely going to cause issues for Mikke and Ace is doing an excellent job. And they, it's not Quinn's dying, so he's still holding his own here. Catapult wave. Catapult is going to go down. Get Stone Gaze off. This might give him the chance to live. Ooh, Arrow's going to be off the mark from Boxy. He might need some TPs to come in if there are any available. It doesn't look like they are. So Duraccio under his tier one tower. I think he's in a whole world of pain here. And he'll be able to put the one charges, but indeed nobody he's is able to head up and help him. He's like, team, <laughs> somebody. It looks like he is inevitably going to go down. Is I going to get the last hit? Two. 1k lead now, another re the resummon is there, they yep. get the disruption. Nice gonna come in and help out, Liquid wanna take this fight. They'll go forward with the Onslaught, crashing through onto the two of them, get the Tofu. ball prize onto Tofu. Raw's gonna be used from Ace to free Tofu and allow him to step back, turn with the start. Look towards Zai, Quinn, he's gonna zip back in, drag him in with the Vortex, they haven't quite got enough damage to take Zai Quinn's down. Low. And on the high ground, Quinn, he gets caught, locked down by the Fear in the Root, he's out of the game for 25. He zipped in way too aggressively, Zai's got a Vanguard, bad choice. I mean, Zai might be able to go for more, he's gonna have Onslaught again in a second. So if he can find his way over towards Tofu, he can. In once more with the onslaught on the trample. Tofu keeps his distance. He's okay. And they won't be able to push the bear in under the tier two. They'll pull back in, Nisha. He'll get the tower. This is a, this kind of a dream pick. I mean, he is so, so dead. If they get any sort of catch onto him with this bear and the death, so Ace won't stand a chance. Zai, si, he's in with the blink. Nisha in with the bear. Catch him with the fifth. Go forward with the onslaught. Ace will turn with the raw. 
but there really is no way out for him. Do they push tower? Or do they go straight to Roche? Let's see which is the call here for Liquid. And McKay's bringing the wave in. I think it's probably just the Roche. With that fresh Deso Bear, he's got a stack on it too. Solar Crest, they can bring it down quick. And with Ace dead, don't know if gaming's going to be able to contest. This is incredibly strong as a team right now, Liquid. They've got through this early game and something that could have been maybe punished for, for the greediness of having like the lone druid mid and this you know juggernaut in the safe lane with farming the battle fury it it's working out so far so he far his yeah. timings he's gonna be able to make all these moves kind of just liquid going as four mickey can continue to farm so far at least from liquid's perspective i think they're doing everything they hope for with this job yep. and they've got the insurance policy of the jug too in case things get a little weird he is going to be of course going battle fury going for this kind of farm build so yeah do you think liquid can look to push a little bit here just Duracho is still farming that's, very, that's very the well. and i think they need to push because i think I feel so like we've too. seen kind of this jug medusa stuff go on and as, if the medusa's in the same place the medusa's in the happier place uh for right now Duracho. He's definitely going to be telling the team that he's got this. He's ready yeah. to carry. He's Absolutely. set up for success. And uh, the numbers definitely show that. So we'll, we'll see if Liquid could keep the pressure on. Yes. Or if Thracho is going to be able to walk away with this. That's what they need to with the moments passing. Gaming Gladiators as a whole as a whole are getting more out of the map. Absolutely. Quinn. Again for the jump in the mid. He's able to the follow it onto nope. Quinn. He's able to ball lightning away. Great read from I mean, maybe Insania. Insania does have a haste rune. He's trying to see if he can get in and get the disruption set up. The rest of Liquid, they're focusing Tofu. Chase out the Lion. See in the mid, Insania, he's really messing around with Quinn, but the roar's up from Ace. They just turn and take Insania down, Quinn. Well, he quit over the zip TB for the onslaught from Zai. Will catch him. And they will manage to kill off Quinn. Trying to out on that, that bottom jungle area. It does mean, though, meanwhile in the mid, it's tier two. It's, it's, take, it's taken out. They've got the creep wave coming in. They might force it bottom immediately right afterwards, too. There's I mean, no glyph. Liquid, they really want to try and find a Roshan by the looks of it before they're forced to fight, but I mean, they're, not, they're, they're not going to get the chance to. Yeah, Roshan's still not up for 30 seconds. The push from Gaming Gladiators is coming in on the bottom lane. Instant illusion's gone. How do you stop this, Liquid? That's the question. Gaming's testing you. I mean, this rack just looks like it's going to drop they're, they're, with no contest. They've got the fortification, but they're going to have to bring everyone back if they want any sort of chance to push it back. He's jumping guy, in. He's going to go for Tofu. He's going to get caught straight away, though, by the stun. They're turning on towards him. I have the defensive disruption to buy some time for Here's Dai. Uh, the stun's going to catch Nisha on the low ground. And Tofu is just him with a finger. They're taking out Insania. They've got the hex on to Nisha. Nisha will push them back with a fear, but Durancho's just He's dealing dead. too much damage here with the crit and the Scardi. That might just be it. They're gonna, <laughs> Gaming, they're just grouped. They're giving no chance to Liquid. They've got no way to push this back, Liquid. These guys are just too good at I mean, knowing their timing. I is theirs. I mean, they could stick around Gaming Gladiators. I, I think there's no hope. That was everything oh from Liquid. Goodness. That's it. I Gaming, they're just, they're all grouped. 5,000 gold on Ace. What do you do? You don't do anything. This deuce has hit her timing with the Beastmaster. They don't have Omni Slash. They don't have anything liquid, it feels. They've only got three heroes alive. Hey, that's it, Owen. This is two sets of Rex. Hey, they have another. They have towers to go through top, but gaming have just gaming. They're too good when they play for these timings. They're too good when they get Ace off to this type of start with his Beastmaster. It's nothing super fancy by him, but it makes it, it just makes it look so good. Boots the bearing. I'm the Overlord. He's got his BKB now. Aegis. Yep. It's time to close it out. It really is. They, they, can, they can taste it again. I'm glad it is. They are so close. They really are. 17k lead. 28 minutes here. To the base there, more than ready to go again. I mean, Gaming Gladiators, they did what they did bottom without an Aegis. Now they've got the Aegis. Now they've got the cheese. Look at this. There's the illusions, but quickly probably going to get erased from Tofu. He's a little far away. There we go. Racho says, come on. They got to do something. Challenge me. What are they going to do? I mean, Mickey's coming back. He's going to be ready to join them, but the it's dropping. Is gone. Butterfly timing. He hits 20. Can he do anything to Duracho? They've got the disruption. Duracho, he's silver edged. I mean, they'll be able to take him, or maybe not even the ones. Duracho is still alive. They'll fear him, but instead of pushing him away, he'll find anything oh, he's fine. the safe position. And so he's gone. He's out. It does not have buyback. Mickey's trying to find some sort of way to jump him with the Omni Slash, but it's split between far too many units. Oh, he what a stun. By the stun. He'll put the Blade Fury, try to stand this ground here. They burn through the mana of Duracho. Duracho is getting low, but because he still has that Aegis, they get the Vortex pull back onto Mickey. Mickey's out as well. No buyback on him. Tofu, he's jumping in, he gets the setup with the stun onto his Sadia, zip for Quinn, GG. it's over, GG is called, Gaming Gladiators, they've done it again! Celery, Ace, CY, lift that bad boy up, because y'all, the best team that have ever done it, Gaming Gladiators! Woo. Ten years
years of Dota have brought us a dominant squad. We cannot imagine how much further this team will go.